Good morning and welcome. Day three of Confraternity 2023. Very gloomy and chilly conditions here at the Runcorn playing fields of St. Lawrence's College as we get ready to start finals day. And coming up first hand is Unity Two College will take on Faith on Lutheran College of, from Plainlands. Two minute warning has gone off. So, cool conditions take a wild warm up. Our referee today is Jaden Windle. Makes his way out in the centre of the park. As players start stripping their jumpers off and getting ready to, to get underway. Unity College is, well, I think they're going to start from the northern end. So there's two finals on here today Norman, oh, for the girls. Normally there's only the, there used to be the one, but now there's 12 teams. There will be a second final, a plate final. Michael Crutch will join me shortly and explain what's going on there. Michael Kutch, I should say. Uh, Brian Pollock is going to join me in commentary shortly. I just see Brian running across here now. And Brian's running because he doesn't have arthritis like I do. Morning, Brian. Uh, morning, John. How are we? I'm good, mate. How are you doing? It's a bit chilly today. What's going on? This is a stereotypical Brisbane winter today. Oh, nice little cool breeze. I call 10 it. degrees cold than yesterday. Yeah. I call it rude. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, well, for the and we're players. not the ones playing, mate. We're not the ones playing. We're talking about ice baths after a game. Yeah. These guys have had it beforehand. Does that uh, you intensify your pre-game warm-ups and cool war cool conditions like this, or you still go through the same oh, process? You probably go through the same process, but I reckon we might just add another, you know, by two minutes, a bit more dynamics just to get that extra stretch in or that extra bit of movement. But... It, but game five today, John. Game five, yeah, how about that? So a day off yesterday, as we know. Yes. And uh, welcomed by everybody and sundry, but what a wonderful carnival so far. There are six fields on here today. Faith Lutheran College, they are on your right of screen. This is the third game on field number one here, so they've obviously uh, got some friends upstairs. Yeah, we linked to Michael Crutcher somehow, maybe. Maybe. That's the only way I can see being happy, because he does <laughs> have a lot of pull, does Michael? Well, I won't knock him. He, he's put us on field one at 1.30 today. There you go. So we'll take we'll take we'll take that box. Fantastic! It was, the hooter is gone, so all grounds are supposed to start. Ours is, looks like we're the last ones to start. Yeah. So, so unity is starting from the right. Is that it's toss in the middle, John? So how <laughs> did you change it over? How did you go with? Uh, how did you go with? The, obviously, Brian Pollock is a coach of the uh, St. Pat Shawcliffe side. Um, no injuries or anything, buddy. All fresh. No, uh, ma no major injuries. A um, couple of little sort of soft tissues but they'll battle through it uh, but yeah we've been very sort of lucky in that injury sort of position at the moment. Alright well here's a good carry to start things off this tackle there is no Gwena he's the number 10 I just want to have a look at him when he comes on screen here he's got to be the short, smallest number 10 he's going to be in this ruck here you might just see him in the back there with the dark headgear on but I'll tell you what he's not afraid to jump in front of a couple of bigger bodies. Yeah that's awesome. And that is uh, crazy. Here's a more more suitable size number 10 and William Thomas Takes the tackle. Five short of half weight. Good ball. Good shape out the back here. Yeah, bit nice. of a goose step. Oh. oh, puts the hands out. Cold hands. And unfortunately, yeah. comes up with the <laughs> error there. Just Tony his Stewart. In his pocket, unfortunately. That's where I wish I wanted my But that was a be. good, not a bad constructive little uh, set off the kickoff there. Just probably a bit unlucky there to, to drop that. It's, it's trying to look at getting a good kick away would have been an outcome the coach was after. But that's okay. They'll move forward. It was a changeover. I thought yeah. it might have... Well, it wasn't the last, but anyway, as I said, the yeah, referee today, Jaden Windle. We'll talk with the referees. Here he is. Here he is. Yep. Well, he doesn't care. You watch him yeah, get up. He'll get up and go again. Yeah, away he goes. Is that, yep. is that all well you done. got, he said? That's it. Exactly right. I'll come to the blind side. Seven and six combining. A short nice. ball here for the for George Faulkner. He'll stand the tackle there of Farrenden. Just across the hands, trying to find a way through there. Going sideways, unfortunately, here are Faith from Plainlands. So I think I'll go to Cole Gordon here, the seven, and get a kick up. Nice early kick into a bit of space. There's a bounce. Ooh, good pick up. Good chase. Unlucky. Probably didn't get a chase on the outside here. With oh! Get a turnover. Yeah, well done. <coughs> he did all the hard work. He picked it up at his shoelaces, and then unfortunately he comes up with an error as he took it into the into the defensive line. But he's going to reward the scrum actually too. He's a bit of a rake out, I think, maybe. Maybe. Replay out here. Yeah, you can see he's... 
looking to where the space is when he picks it. Comes to the right hand side or the, his left. Yeah, I think the three, yep, the three drags it out there, John. And sure and it's a knock on, so. Scrum fed and one. Now, is it just my imagination, oh. Brian Pollock? There's a knock on here. This seems all the number sevens in this competition seem to be taller than you and me. There's some giants in the halves. There is. Moment. Yeah, I said they're well built. They seem to yeah. be well built young men. <clears throat> so they've obviously done some work in the um, in the gym. Yeah, the seven there from Faith Losing is a strong looking seven. Yeah, yeah young Cole Gordon. There's um, another young Kenneth Harris, is another one for the. It's a tall number seven. Who he plays for, I cannot remember because I've spent a couple of games of footy over here. But anyway, he's a scrum feed a chance here for Faith yeah, Luton. First points on the board. Set play can always be a dangerous beast. And Joseph Hertrick, being outstanding at number one, as we've seen quite a few times. It's the back rows of Confraternity 2023. That I've actually been present. That's an obstruction, but anyway, play on. Didn't sort of gain too much momentum and, and extra yards there. So, oh, show and go there from dummy half, the three. That's Teresi, three. He's yeah, been good. Teresi, Elijah Teresi, penalty offside. Okay, Ooh. let's see if Faith Luton gets some, a good outcome here and construct a set that hopefully gives them some success. A little bit Not flat as clean as you would have liked from the start, but we'll see what they start from here. Well, Cron throws it out the back. He's been uh, dived on here, so they've lost that opportunity now of Faith, and Unity College will run it out 10 out from their own line. So the first five minutes have been... We haven't seen a completed set yet. No. <laughs> All in good time. Yeah, penalty, so go. there's a relieving penalty. Referee... Windle says so hand in there. Now with this, this these are, um, this game is 20-minute halves, I believe, John, yeah. still? Yeah, I think the other games are a bit later. I think they go to 25. So this, oh, he hasn't kicked it out. It's a clean catch to... by, the, by, the, by the six. It's one way to Lucky. warm up your coach. You make him red hot under the collar. Yeah. Lucky Rolston. Rolston, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to count. I think we've done it five times, John. Have you really? Yes, have yes. found touch? No, we have not found touch. Um, and they know it too, our young fellas. <laughs> like, just look at it. Getting to the point, it's a bit of it, we're laughing at it, unfortunately. Yeah, day one <laughs> was quite windy, but today's pretty still. Yeah, I think they just try and take too much grass. They just take your twenty meters, look for a space, aim for a tent or aim yeah. for a, a person, and go. That's who I'm aiming for, and take your twenty meters and, and get on with it. Yeah, I don't know. I remember I asked Mark Lidden one day, why don't they try and get some more meat? He said, well, they don't kick it out. They're playing reserve grade the next week. Yeah, so <laughs> that's right. That's why they make sure they put that's it in right. touch because uh, it's an unforced error, really. Yeah, it Last is. Last tackle says referee Windle. There's an option here on the short side. Oh, he's kicked he's back gone the, the wrong way. They're out. Number four to two on the outside. Let's see if they can keep him in goal area, but he makes his way back into the field of play and a good run there from... Oh, I think they've got him, John. I think... No. Well done sideways. there by, that, by the young fella there. Might be Ruben Gray. Yeah, he's done well to get out of that. So, at the end of that, Faith Luton actually got to a kick. I will count that as a completion. Yes. But we've had one. Marcus. Good strong carry there by the, by the front rower from Unity College. He's at number eight, is it, John? Yeah. Sydney from Unity College. He's looking for another hit on the uh, open side here. They're pushing forward. Oh, oh no. Once again, another handling error. I think there's a bit of a nerves and a bit of cold weather here this morning. Just lacking a bit of uh, soft hands and completion. Just the little schoolboy football there is. Well, this is the... Uh, yeah, well, he's attempted to play the ball, but sort of didn't play the ball. No, well, they'll pull you up on that in the high grade, so that's yeah. what you've got to learn here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's. this is probably what Faith Lutheran's third or fourth attacking set down here, John. So let's see if they can execute. I can't say it's been Unity's defence that's actually stopped them from getting any further. It's actually them from knocking it on. This is going to go backwards. Still keeping in hand here is Hertrick. And Hertrick will beat one, gets to the 30-meter uh, line. Yeah, it's not as though they, they've been defensively good. It's just that uh, Faith have coughed up the pill. Correct. Cole Rain. Rangy back row there in this division. Back row has been really outstanding. 13. Yeah, a couple, a couple of good ones in some of these higher levels too. Good contact. Good again. Good run by the front row there from Faith Lutheran. He, and he contest. does. He plays a full forty. It's not like he's yeah. Good ball. Oh, four on two. Good get off the offload. Her here, trick keeping here. it alive on, here. Baby. Try in the corner if he can yeah, get there. Well done. Does so in Finally. the end. Yep, the fifteen. Fifteen from Faith Lutheran. Yeah, George Faulkner. 
did a bit of had to do a bit of work there, John. But again, I suppose you go down this right hand side that uh, the six and the seven combined. Seven takes it to the line a bit. The six it runs a, a nice out ball to the space. He does gets the offload, which is great. Back to the seven, draw and pass, get into the space. Fifteen had to do a little bit of work there, and then dives over to a corner. So yeah, well done. Finally, they got their result that they were after after about four or five sets down here, uh, and working working for their uh, for themselves in game. I think game five for them. Um, that's been great. Well, Gordon, actually, I thought the, the, the seven actually blew it there. But luckily, he got the offload away in the end there because it was uh, numbers out wide from the score that try. But I thought he thought he took on too much trying to get through two big bodies. Uh, maybe drawing those two defenders actually yeah, yeah, helped. But yeah. uh, and have the awareness to offload. You know, yeah. having the awareness. Is my arm free? Really quickly, intrinsically, he's thinking, is my arm free? Can I get an offload? Yes, it's in, I'm, they're in a better position, and they can play off the back of that, which is great. So her trick with this conversion, we saw one yesterday. It was 18 all. I can't recall the game. Was Might it, have been Maris was Ashgrove it, was game, it, was I think it was. St. Augustine's and Maris College yeah, Ashgrove, yeah. the two Maris schools. Yeah, yeah, I heard about it. They've yeah. scored in the corner. Uh, I actually know the Neil Gregory, one of the trainers for it, because that's my old... Oh, okay. School, St. Augustine's College. So I don't want to. Was coached by Lon the great Lionel Williamson, and mentored up there. And Neil Gregory was part of that coaching staff. There's a couple of new coaches in there as well. He was telling me here on the Tuesday night dinner. He said, "Oh, <laughs> he was standing there with him, going, you reckon you got this?'" He's like, "Yeah, I got this." Really? So he was full of confidence, the young oh. fella. So well, he had to be the smallest guy on the park, number 14, I think it was. And yeah. he, interesting enough, the, the one touch judge went sideways and didn't put his flag up. One did, and then they, they both joined, okay. and they got it. But he had to be the smallest guy in the park, and I don't want to really bring it up Oh, here. no, need a complete set. And that will... Welcome to Cop Turney, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and schoolboy football. It's an angry-shaped uh, football is the steed. Uh, and this is what's so good about rugby league, rugby union, even AFL with the... Odd shaped footy. Yes. Anyone's <coughs> guess which way it'll go. It's like yeah. a shopping trolley wheel. So here is a chance here yeah. for their turn to Unity College. So they rather than get in a positive faith, they've got to get to a, a area where they've got to defend now. And now it's up to Unity to build some sort of construction, build in a bit of shape, get it at least to the sixth tackle and have a shot, and then try and get another put in the end goal or get a good outcome, whether it's getting them inside the 10 metres and getting them working out of there. Sydney Britton getting put back on his backside. Loses a few metres. They go again to the blind side. A dart from dummy half here from Greenhall. He'll take that tackle. 12 out from the try line. Wanting to have a crack now. As a That's good leg speed, this guy. Young fellow. Big fellow. He's, He's going to go close to the try line. Yeah. Referee's right there. He's going to say last tackle. Number 16 there, is it, from Unity College? Jonathan. Jonathan Hot. What's that? Jonathan Heighton? Heighton, yep. Yeah, Jonathan Heighton. That's good leg. 15, sorry. Good leg speed. Slow play the ball. This has yeah. gone everywhere. But oh, the hand an could turn into something. Ooh, there's that seven. I'm saving that. Yeah, apologies there. It was number 15, I think it was, John. It was 15, and we don't have 15. 15 so what we do is... But yeah, but yeah, yeah celebrate that young guy there, the, the 15. Good leg speed, I think it was. So... So another line so, drop out. Yep, they got that's the best outcome they've got. <coughs> Apart from getting a try, that's the next best outcome. They've got a reset. They've got another set at them. So at least see if they can construct something here. Go to the six. Have a crack at them, the big guy. Good footwork. No a day. Oh, offload. He gets the offload here now to Gasner. Again with an offload. Oh. Back to Thomas. Hands on head stuff, John. Oh, enterprising stuff. But probably not one that you want to... That's not Try the on the first yeah, tackle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's excited. He did the right thing. Did a little bit of a goosey in. Yeah. Gets the offload. Yes. Yeah, as in the two probably should have just should went taken to, the yeah, ground. Yeah, should have went to get. Well, you, you can sort of argue that the offload was he in a good position. Yes, but it was defending the fifteen coming across and doing his work also helped that for Faith Lutheran to get that outcome. And to be fair, I suppose to to the winger, he probably got a call from the six. Yeah. 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 He said, I'm open. He was. He did have it, and he dropped it. But anyway, so Trinity have got a chance to get out from their own end. Defend their four-point lead. There you go. The two's making a good positive for himself after that little knock-on. Or oh, I think that might have been a little bit harsh, but that's okay. 
end of the ruck there, the referee. So, yep. So let's go see what they do. If you go right in the, the middle of park, you yeah, take the tap. Take, your, take your ten meters and. I'll be getting somebody right on the chalk here. Pick the target. He's got a great. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yep. He got that. I thought they would have gone nice. further that, Brian. But anyway. <laughs> nice. Well, he's made twenty meters, John. We've got a bit of tarp in our commentary box here, so I'm not really sure about the breeze whether it's, it's favouring anyone. It's only by the bunting that's on ground level. But anyway, we're going to run out. So the Faith Luderman player, well, there's a lesson for you, young man. You take it up nice and slowly, you're going to be an easy target. Yes, correct. Good tip on, 13 to 10. There's our front row, and thir 13 tip on to the 10, good ground. Getting a bit of space into those C channels. Good contact. Oh, good shot there yeah. coming in from Greenall, the hooker. Yep. Get a bit of that run a bit softer. You might get hit harder. There's that 13. Cronin. Yeah, Condon. So he's already done a tip onto the 10, and then he showed and goed on that. Made some ground. The seven's on. Down Gordon. short side, draw a pass. Gone. Through. Gone. Flick pass out of the peck. Picked the up one. by Hertrick, and Hertrick will take the tackle oh. and the sideline. Good cut. Well done, Unity College. But also well done by Faith Luther in there. Really constructed the set. Um, built into it. Got to a short side. But Dana is playing the seven and one. Yeah. If you could give some information, I'd, I'd like to see the seven tip on earlier there. As he was making into the going into the line, he could have tipped to the six who was in space, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure he'll learn from that. All right, so Uni College got to get out of here. So get some good carries, get to a good kick. Oh, lucky they get a penalty because of quick play of the balls. So they're in a position to construct a set for themselves. We had uh, referee Sean Chapman here calling a game for us the other day and we asked him a plethora of questions you know, the six to go again and all that. I didn't ask him why you can't take a quick tap or when can you and when, or why can't you keep the game going. I, I would have liked you to ask that question because <laughs> I've been asking an, I've, been, sure, it, I've been asking our boys to do it um, just because when 20 minute games, I know we extend it today 25 but during the the, 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 four, you know, the first three or the first four games, the 20 minute halves, and um, if you're in a reasonable position, a quick tap, if you, as long as you don't go off the mark and you just go, I'd like to see it. You haven't got any players in front? Yeah, I'd like to see it happen. One, because it is in the game, and, I, and that's part of the, the higher level rugby league. Good, it would work here. here when, Grant, yeah. And Grant will go over and score a try there, yeah. the number four. Yeah. Plenty of space Lots there. Lots of quick play of the ball there leading into that. Lots of quick play of the ball, building, building some pressure. Um, scooting from dummy half and then good good footwork by the four there so building the pressure on the ground one marker plays left steps off his left steps off his right bit of tired day game five defense and um, well done on Unity College for constructing a nice um, set there to score a try so. yeah it just comes back to the quick play the ball Correct. markers weren't ready and yep. they pounced yep yeah, so we just... Uh, I know, Rob, you obviously quick tap. Away you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just like to see it part of mm. part of us as a confraternity as well. Let them, you know, within a within a time... It's not not a time hard. frame, but it just sort of... it's a If it's a clean decision, it's here. Tap it, go. Um, because it is, from a learning from a referee's point of view, it's good good, good learning for them because as they go up in the grade, it is in the game. So, and it's good for our boys to, and the girls to learn... To play that type of football as well, mm. uh, but obviously you must be able to take a quick tackle. Because everybody tries it, and maybe there is an option for that. But yeah, there I is. I just seen think, it. Yeah, I just think that like, uh, like if it wasn't in the game, you're not going to do it. You're so obviously, try. There's yeah, a, it is in the game. And that's the thing. Like, I agree. Um, like I mean, it's not a be all and end all, but I'd, I'd like to see it being being sort of policed in a way that it can happen, and uh, the referees let it let it roll. So good try there to Jack Grant. Might do that one. My half, my half time. I see Mark Savage there, and I might ask him at half time about that ruling. Yeah, get a bit of clarity. I should give him some forewarning because he does. He, he might, might have know to go the answer. He might, might have to go to the, the textbook. Yeah. yeah. So, kick off. We've got nice three kick. minutes remaining. Four all. Sun trying to peek through here at Runcorn. And no one's willing it on more than I am. I hate the cold weather, Brian. That's good. Good run there by the 16. So, wait, uh, sorry, Pat Sorncliffe, uh head coach, mate. Who you got at 130? Uh, St. Edmunds. So, it's an AOC, AOC playoff, John. Nice. So AOC, two schools. And, and, you know, recognition for Eddies. They've been in, in 
in since 1980, so they're a staunch um, embedded school, and we're uh, we're doing 25 years next year, so it's a um, it's a good good pl- and it's great to see Eddie's actually in the Div One. Uh, they've been building their their sporting program and all that sort of stuff. So number 20 here is on there for. Uh, Big John Afu, I'm going to pronounce yeah, that. That's correct. Yep. Yeah, John Afu, nice. Get him on the last five minutes, get him some leg speed. He's, like he, this he's looking for it again, John. Nine green oh, no. in attack and defence. It's the last tackle now. He's going to good put kick. that high in the sky. That's really good. His boy's thundering through here. He's going to let it go. <laughs> and uh, Ren has to be tied up the back here. Rolston will bring it back in, but he's going to be manhandled close to the try. Yeah, line. that was a great set there. That was a great set by Unity after a, after a try. That's a very much a positive to a positive. Now he's got to work here. There's a minute and 30 left, so they're a chance to get the ball back in good position here. It's Wilbur Nelson there. He let that one go knock backwards. He's came in to do a bit of work, and that's a oh, penalty. Uh, yep. For a strip. I don't know whether it's against it. Uh, unlucky. It's either going to be a knock on to Unity or it was going to be a penalty, I'd say, unfortunately, just the way these hands are in there. So Faith Luther will just roll down this clock, John. So what do the boys do this morning? Are they are they here? Uh, they got up. No, they got up around 7.15, did a little walk around. They did about a 10-minute walk. We're lucky we've got a, out there at Clairvaux, Mary McKillop, we're oh, yeah. staying. Um, we've got two beautiful fields. We've done. A, they did a walk around and stretch, had a nice breakfast. Um, hopefully they're listening to me now. Um, I asked them to turn the, t- turn the TV on and have a bit of a listen. They're um, uh, out there at Club Road at Mount Cravat, Mary McKillop. Yeah. Yes, they were great, great hosts. Giving us access to the classrooms and a, a nice kitchen there, so it's been um, it's part of the carnival, John. Getting schools involved with schools and forming a connection where you can help the young men and, and women get a get accommodation. Here we go. Twenty seconds remaining. Second. If, if he gets, oh, that's good. Good. If they shift this, the there a chance. If they shift this, there a chance. Oh. Going the wrong way, but anyway, it's gotta Lester. Shift it. Down to thirteen seconds. They got to shift this. Crossfield kick coming. Possibly. Or get some now, get some hands on. Quick play the ball, bud. Quick play the ball, quick play the ball, quick play the ball. Field goal, let's see how he would have gone. He's got it. He would have got it too. Anyway, that'll be half time, four all. Yeah. <clears throat> all fields. So no. like one try apiece. A that, scrappy first half. It's not unexpected on day no. one. No, that's right. But yeah, exactly. This is yeah, game four. Oh, no, sorry, game one. It's on day three. Yeah. Mm. Have a look at the replays here for Southern. Sorry. Yeah, it's Central a nice, and Uni. Yeah, a constructed try here with the offload from the six and seven combining, uh, coming around, please. squaring up, the running into space. Yeah, that's why they're Georgie Faulkner. Yeah, and, and then we, after a good constructed feet. set here from and Unity, the dummy half four goes only. out and around. Plays All fast feet, looks uh, looks a nice back, uh, centre there for Unity College with good footwork, which gets a nice outcome. All right, we'll take a break here. It's half time here. Unity College 4, Faith Rutherham 4, day 4, Confraternity 2023. I'm Pollock, yeah. head coach of St. Pat's at Shawncliffe, joins me in commentary for, I said day 4, I suppose it is day 4, day 3 is the rest day of Confraternity 23, and we're waiting for referee Jaden Windle for the uh, restart from the, the Carnival Hooter. So we're just waiting on um, on some warmer weather. It'd be very appreciated. But this is a game for anyone. I think it probably comes down. We might have got maybe three or four completed sets out of each side. I, was yep. po- I had John Buchanan on the call yesterday <laughs> as we were about to get underway. And he said Confraternity is about set for set. Oh, so much so. Is that right? Yeah. So and we, we, we've got a... And we've achieved it once, I think, in the four games we've played, or like five from five. Yeah. Uh, you know, if we complete five blocks, you know, five sets from in a block somewhere. Yep. Um, you might find you you're in a, you're in a real good contest. Um, and we've done that once, um, and we were in a good contest. So um, it's just about repeating that. And some of the good good teams will do that often. You know, the Brendans, the Pats, Mackay, uh, probably the Ignatius Parks and Mary Mounts, They sort of can build their sets and they're confident in, cur- in that sort of commitment to that. She took about commitment. This 10's been great. Johnny has got to be a duty of work. care here. But he just, uh, I've got to save him from everything because he doesn't mind running into the big guys. He's no. a fleet of foot stuff here from <laughs> Gordon. Been a quality act here. But I Gordon. like also how he just gets back into position. Yeah. It's like I'm, I'm a middle player. I'm going to hang in the middle and do my job. 
um, to the best of his ability, which is great. Ooh, going backwards, says the referee, and Gray will pick that one up here, but they got to their kick, did, did Faith Lutheran from Plainlands. Yeah. They'd be used to the cold weather out there. I'd like to... This uni college is built up here, good couple of tackles here. They've made about 35 metres on two tackles. Good scoot there. Tony Stewart. Well, number 19 from Unity College. Yeah. Tony Stewart. Have a look at this guy. A couple of fence here. He's got the mullet happening. And who hasn't? Yeah, who hasn't? <laughs> hey, seems to be the end thing. Here's another one. Good. Well done. Takes that oh. to the line there. Creates the Ooh. opportunity. Puts a man halfway through the gap. And he's going to be penalised for yeah. obstruction. If he just, yeah. Like, it, he probably was unlucky there to just get outside his inside his uh the big 10, 20 there but if he just sort of maybe stepped and just sort of took the tackle rather than looking to gain more meters he would have got away with it um, but he just looked to go a bit further than he should have so unlucky but that's the rules yeah, some will say oh, it's only competent but if these guys want to keep playing rugby league that rule is enforced yeah. quite heavily it now is. once upon a time he got away with it yeah throw everybody at the line uh, that's a 15 again oh. who's got a penalty. We, Sorry, we don't have his name. Right. Yeah, sorry, that's Georgie Faulkner. But yeah, he's given a penalty for lifting him up and the legs going past the sort of horizontal there. It's a try scorer. So the winner of this will go into a final? Some I sort? Think I think... I, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to be a bit naive. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure they've got another game yeah. today, yeah. and then they've got to go a game tomorrow. So this is the in the div three area. They've split it up and they've got extra numbers and extra. Here we go. Good Shen shift here. Back row, Great work. Come and Terissi will he get there. A try. No. Oh. going to say he's at a forward pass. Terissi goes over oh. in the corner. He's been denied by a forward pass here. Oh, I think it's a knock on because he's going to a 0-7. Well, there's so your quick tap we yeah. talked about. We'll come back to that shortly. We've got some clarity on <laughs> that. And it's this been started fast. Uh, Hotel. Really good. Uh, they've gained nearly 40 metres there off the zero tackle. So, Dacta tackle one here. Thomas. Drives to the league there. Thomas Faulkner, the tackler around the ankles. Well, that was a quick tap. Obviously, you can do that on the on the seven tackle restart yep. on the 20. Yeah. We've got some... Uh, good leg speed there by the 16. Yep. We've got some clarity from uh, Mark Savage. Uh, I'll talk about the, the uh, quick tap shortly. As you see, tip, here he goes tip. again. There's a yeah, chance in the corner, shot. and Gruben Gray will score eventually. Mm. Luckily, he wasn't held there. He did a second effort, he but did. he wasn't held. Yeah, it's, it's been a great two minutes of footy from both teams there. Well, I suppose they scored in the corner previously. Mm. Faith, and now at the other end. Yep. It's a, you can see there's five or six numbers on the left there, so there's all the space out here. So the seven comes to the line, sees the space, the one gets to the outside, uses his speed. Good attempt there by the six from Faith Lutheran to try and chop him down, Lockie Rolston, but unfortunately um, the try scorer went over and, and scored on the in the corner there. The number seven, Brown Strathern. Yeah, good vision there. Miles Brown Strathern, yeah, good vision. Um, and good work by the one there, Ruben Gray. So we did do our homework at halftime. We did. On the. Um, so hopefully my young fellas are listening. So, so no, any foul play? No, no, oh, foul, it, no foul play um, by t taking a quick tap. Not on the 10 metres, so offside on the 10. Can't take a quick tap. But if there was an indiscretion at the play the ball, a.k.a. a slow play the ball, the referee's deemed as too slow, um, you can get up and take the tap as long as no one's in front of you. Correct. So you would, if you're a smart hooker, you would grab the front rower who is in front of you, <laughs> get in behind you as quickly as possible, tap it and go. Kick is successful. Good well, we've kick from the seen line. it before, so that's an important kick. Have a look at the replay again here. This yep. is Ross Strathman, lovely ball. I suppose it, it, we couldn't see it just there quickly, but the six did it. The six there ran a line and it forced one of their Faith Lutheran guys to jam in on him, which then also created that extra space. Um, so that was um, he m might not look at that run and go, "Oh, why did I do that?" Well, he did it, and he got someone to push. Defensively, and then made and that made the space out wide for the for the uh, Unity College outside backs. So Faith Lutheran to restart through her trick. 10-4 with 10-4 with 14 to go. Here's the six. Still good carry, good catch, show and go. Oh, good nice speed. Carry. Good, don't argue. Still going. Turns oh, it back inside. 
Here's a chance in the seven three quarter, and Jack Grant, he's already scored one, has looked left, right, takes an ankle tap here, and is going to take the tackle. A so bench there of Walters. That short side now, there's about a heap of numbers on the catch pass, catch pass. Goes back the other uh, way there, does Brown. Yeah, Strapman. good hands have come back. It's moving the, that moved the defence around. William Thomas will get He's up. Got to make some good decisions here. Good leg speed. This 16 is good for unity. He's got good leg speed, John. Good body shape. Yeah, Jonathan Heighton there. Good leg speed. Carries in the middle. There's our six from the kickoff. <laughs> from oh, unity. Still going. Still going. Loose no the day. footy. No, a day does not mind the contest. But when you say he scores 10-4, there's a penalty here. Might be for a bit of lip. Oh, yes, there is. Against the six. No need, says yeah. Some young bloke, number one for a Brisbane Broncos, like that, I think, the other day. Not to, no need it's for it. Anyway. It's an these young... error. I mean, yeah. why would you bother? <laughs> yep. Like, yeah, the ref's yeah. going to change it's, his mind. In the, it's not the ref's fault. It's yours. That's it's, it's right. We'll to ask him. Yeah. Own it and move it. Since the beginning of time, I have not seen a referee change his mind, other than from a captain's challenge. But oh. <laughs> and that's yeah. Correct. Moving on. Yeah, moving but on. But no, you just keep your mouth shut. You do. You, you don't just, want to. And I know they're young men, but they've just got to know their next action's important. Well, now they're going to defend. There's a 13 and the 10 working together again. Gwenye. <laughs> I think the 13 from... I'd like to see the Faith Lou and 13 get a bit more involved here, John. He's a big body. He lies not mind tipping on. He can get a bit more value out of his work. He looks a bit sore. <laughs> I think, which is understandable. Him and him, you and I do too. Yeah. So he's there, but he's just... Yeah, he's... He's called upon, he'll do it. Goes in front, and the getting way, goes backwards, so... Oh. Okay. Well, I think he actually pulled it back. He yeah. was created a knock-on yeah. going towards the other yeah. end. Northern yeah. posts. If you look at the replay, CQ University. Yeah, he did. He pulled it back towards. Unfortunately, just pulled it back. Trying to pull it back in, and he's pulled it onto his foot, which is obviously in a forward motion going towards the opposition's try line. So Unity with an opportunity to try and take this game away from Faith. Scrum feet on the halfway. Three on two out here. Tip. 17. Good contact by the 16 to try and shut it down. Faith Lou, we've got numbers in the tackle. Well done. Get up and play on the 30. Get back to the middle. Oh, bit of miscommunication there, but that's okay. They just responded and carried. Jack Grant wasn't supposed to get that. He's got it, the try score. The five's looking to carry here just on the outside the screen. You can... I really don't think these numbers are actually allotted to the field position because that's a big centre. A big winger, I should say. He goes yeah. forward. He's yeah, he's made some ground. Boy. He's got... Oh, he's dropped it. Good effort there from Cronin. There's yeah. your man. The big red Yeah, head. the 13 and the 14. Having a go there for Unity... Uh, for Faith Lutheran. Young Hamish Wilkes and uh, Cronin. Yeah, it's a good leg speed by the five. Like, he just needed to carry, which he is. He's carrying. Got the ball in the good hands. On the right hind. Again, they go in and tackle him. Wrestle him to the ground. And unfortunately, the 13, yeah, with nothing illegal there, just good contact and contact to the ground, rolls the ball out. Just came out the back, didn't it? So, scrum feed one. Ten minutes, just over ten minutes remaining. Still plenty of time for Faith Loser. And they can get good footwork here by the seven. Gordon. He ran back straight to the middle where all the forwards were. Lucky well, they're in a bit of a bunch here, so yeah. I think that's a place to go at the moment, trying to work their way out. You know, it's... Sometimes you just, I know you're behind the scoreboard, still plenty of time. They just got to roll up the middle yep. and talk about rolling up to the middle. <laughs> he hasn't again shirked his work. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, he's. Yeah, if I was his, if, if I was his folks, I'd be just cringing every time we got the foot. He'd be split fingers over the eyes watching what happens. See if he comes up. He wants to have another crack. Yeah, he's chasing. There's the kick end over end. Taken oh, nicely there, boy. Got the seven playing fullback, so he's got leg speed, fast, good awareness. Okay, pretty much back to where they've kicked it. Yeah, Unfortunately, the chase wasn't great, but it was a good return. Here's the 20 from Unity College, big Johnny Afu. Let's tackle two there, midfield. Let's see what Unity College do. They don't have to be too fancy here, Unity College. They just construct a good set. Again, there's our man, the 16, with good leg speed, good carry, elbows and knees, gets a quick play of the ball. They've got a short side here with two. They go back to the open, which is fine. 
not really sure. He thought he it was turns it back. Like, now this is where their space is. Yeah, the 17, unfortunately, just dropped that into space. Oh, Jack McDonald, champ, this is your time to shine. It was. It's a good your ball there from Noah Day. It was, and it, they went to the open, returned it back to the to the right-hand side where the space was, and everyone sort of did their role. Six to seven, and then seven catch pass, and 17 had... He just saw all that real all estate, that grass. Brian. He's Bruce. like, oh, I'm going to enjoy this, and he forgot to do the first job. Yeah, let's get the fingers warm and catch it. But, anyway. As long as you don't do it twice. Oh. <laughs> Easy said than done. Yes. So here he's is the back row there, yeah. Luke Cronin. That's Still he, going Cronin. Yeah, he, Saw, it's not likely. Oh, well bit done. of a hospital pass, but yeah. he got the pass away. But First again, tackle. I think for Faith Rune to get back in this game, he needs to be part of this here he is again. process. Oh, throws the bar forward out the back. He's a chance here for the halfback, Gordon. Playing a little bit of catch up. There's eight minutes to go, but yeah, obviously, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. that's just a flat footed pass to a player that wasn't ready for yeah. it. He's just got clobbered and, there. And Unity's got their, they're up, their, their line speed's pretty good. But again, Faith Lurin's really got a punch. This is better. The 12, good back rower at this level. Gets a quick play of the ball. So her trick. Oh, it's cooked to the right hand corner. Not a bad chase with just two of them, unfortunately. I'd like to see a couple more speeds going to be up speed into the space. Yeah, break and play. Yeah. Always dangerous, only two yeah. chases. No straight line. He's going to have a zigzag through, and he'll find it. Anyone with good leg speed will find th space through that zigzag. Yeah, you love those break and play fullbacks. You know, you talk obviously with. Rugby leagues. Quick play. Gary the, yeah, Jacks. quick play. The, oh. Puts a hand in there. Offside. <coughs> yeah, unfortunately. Good option. It was two quick play the balls there off the back of that return by the uh, Faith the Unity College player from the kick chase. Now they can construct a... No, there should be a no frills set of six here. Punch, punch. Oh, no the, day. He's going to get a penalty. Marcus ooh. interfering in the game way. This is where the quick tap can go, John. True. Here we go. Height. It, you like this number oh, 16, do just, Yeah. He's, he, just, he's yeah. solid. He's there just, he is. He's no, not shirking around. his work. We're allowed to go for a run side. here. Cover defence coming he's in from Rolston. Back. He's dropped it, unfortunately. Oh, good not, hit from yeah, Rolston, the six. Yeah. They had numbers there. They're a bit out of, outnumbered, I thought, there. One or two outnumbered, but faithfully they're in defence. Have a look at six coming to go. Boom. Yeah, six got Ooh. into the ribcage area and looked for the offload, trying to force themselves into the corner. And Yeah, well done, Faith Lutheran. So they've got a, still a chance, Five, almost five and a half minutes to go. Almost five and a half minutes and uh, see if they can get out of here. Construct a good set. Unfortunately, I think the 13 that it was likened off has just been replaced, so hopefully the six and the seven can construct a phase of rugby league here to get him in a good position to get down to Unity College. A nice little scoot there by the uh, replacement player. Oh, no, number nine, sorry. Oh. What we wanted to achieve, we didn't. And now we're on the defence and Unity College can identify this. The big ten carries. To ease it up to find a position in the field. Oh, well, lovely stuff. Well, well, so that's at six again yeah, in Ralston. He's keen to win the game for his team. He's trying to make plays, trying to get us back, get themselves back in the game. Um, oh, nice show and go. That's the nine there from Faith Lou. I think it's Teresi, the oh, three quarter, yeah. Oh, the three, yep. yeah. Yeah, Teresi. Namesakes from North Queensland, Teresi's possibly. Her um, trick. So that's the 40 metre line. Yeah. I really like to see Tip him. on. Oh, oh well shot done. coming out of the line. Number he two. shot that play there, That's didn't the he? two there from Uni College. He's not playing on the wings. Like, is that a Gazna, that John? Gaz Could be. Uh, Gazna. Gazna. Oh, Gazna. Oliver, Oliver Gazna. Nice. We read that. that. was another Gazna that was pretty handy in the centres. Yeah. Here's the, kick. the chases need to be good here. Yeah, they need to have not have the zigzag. Trying for Sierra, good step off the right, good step off the right, and there's open daylight, territory. John. Let's see what happens here, the seven. Turns him back inside, and well cover done. defense comes across there from Hertrick. Yeah, 
good communication from the coaching staff. Calm down and just execute a set of six men. Oh. That was the call from the sideline there. Nice pick up by Britain as you can see. You might <coughs> possibility shot. of Lake taking the two here, John. Get eight in front. It's three and a half minutes to go. You can round that down with the rules around the 60 second kick. Trying to but young they, fellas that they want to they want to meet pie. Yeah, they do. Everybody wants to have a crack here. Yeah. With Britain. 20 out from the try line, centre of the park. They go to the left, flat footed, no back line whatsoever. So they're going to have to run it up in a flat position. It was Gray, gets the metres. Still good, going good as Gray, still it. going as yeah, Gray. His leg speeds, still pumping his legs through the contact. There's our There's 16. Your man. He's got, oh. oh, he reaches out. I think that might have been a. He'd be my man to match on if uh, the Uni College win this and he scores. I would have. Looked at him as man of the match. No, a day. Yeah, we're a space here. With, uh, seven. Brown Strathen, He'll guard himself Brown to seven. Strathen, Brown Strathen, where's the 17? Comes off the... Uh, oh, he's trying to fly back inside. Maybe he said he didn't play at it, so that's given bait the footy in the last opportunity of three minutes to go. Out there, a set of car keys has been handed in. They were found in the toilet. How many people got Here's our 13. Come on, bud. Car keys. Field number one. Um, there are lanyards that says member 2022 PA. A little bit of a bunch here. Uh, I really like to be a bit more expansive here, yeah. Faith. Good con uh, or good offload. A chance there, look to shift the ball uh, if possible. A lot of team comes to the left hand Yeah, the space here, yeah, and there's some speed out this way without a doubt. Stands in the tackle. Urgency now required. A run from dummy half goes Rolston, and Rolston trying to open up that That's five. field place. They'll put it through the hands, you would think, yeah, otherwise the chase is going to be good. Could have a go through the hands. There he goes. Mm -hmm. Gary Good. Owen, midfield bomb. No pressure. Takes it easy. That's a better line. Nice straighter line. Doesn't make the tackle. Uh, yeah. But that was a better line from Faith Lutheran. Not allowing the uni outside bucks to zigzags and way through. First up, contact needed to be happening there. So it's a good leg speed by the three. Yeah, Dwyer. Yeah, just again, nice and simple here. Minute and a half to go. Just catch pass. Get into good. Get midfield. Move the Faith Lutheran boys around. Good, good carry. carry. Good Pops combination. The ten in and the, the eight. Park. He's got a chance to He's going to have a go here, John. Go yourself, go. big fella. Well He's going to go all the way and score. William Thomas, the human wrecking ball, charges over That's, the chalk. Get out of my way. That is exceptional. Exceptional. That's a bit of like uh, Pat Carrigan and Payne Haas in the in the big league, John. The two front rowers working together. Ten's supporting him on the inside here. Carries really strong. The eight, nice tip on. Good hands by the ten. He's 30 metres out, John. They all went too Boun hard. Bounces, still leg driving, working hard. Okay, he's probably smiling about five metres out going, how good is this? I'm going to score here. Could be his first try for the Cardinal and he's loving life. That'll be 50 metres by the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, well, it should be. Yeah. Because he probably ran 50 to get there. Yeah, true. true. <laughs> so, he's come off. He's come off and hugging his mates and he's having a great time. He's ec ecstatic. Um, he's still gassed. Look at yeah, him. He's still <laughs> sucking him in. Conversion's been successful. That'll wind down the clock for full-time game. One day four. Yeah. Contra. 2023. You have to back him in. Yeah, is successful. Successful. yeah, that's a that's a great out, great outcome by Unity College. Actually, <laughs> but if you look at it, he has run he has about run 50 45, meters. Yeah, 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 he's run at least 50. And yeah. that's the 30 meter line he started. Yeah, at. Coming up bit of uh, big Peter Jackson, the Canberra Raiders. <laughs> oh yeah, against Belmain. <laughs> Best Belmain. Sorry, to, that sets my age, John. <laughs> All right, 16 <laughs> points for Brian Pollock. He's the coach of the St. Pat's Sean Cliff side. Hopefully we'll get you back on the cans before the end of the Cannibals, Brian. Good luck this afternoon good. against uh, St. Edmunds. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon, Very mate. good. Thanks. Thanks for having me, John. Right, bye for now.